Hey guys, welcome to game three of the first set between Dewalt and Bonneth from the winner's bracket final of the uh, Fighting Spirit Mania. On the opposite side, I think I casted some games from this. There's Ziki versus Terror. Whoever loses this faces that, and whoever wins the set between the winner of Ziki versus Terror goes again to face whoever wins this. So double elimination. I should draw... A if you can follow, so let's draw a picture here. So here's the top line, here's the bottom line. Down here is the uh, Ziki versus Terra matchup. Up here is the final over on here on the right is Bonneth versus DeWalt. You lose here, you drop down here. So whoever wins this moves on to the grand final to face whoever wins the lower bracket final overall. Hopefully all of that made sense in English. Maybe I should do another MS Paint to explain the double emission. Uh, you guys have watched enough StarCraft to know, and probably enough esports and tournaments at large to know the double elimination format. Whatever. And been long enough in Fighting Spirit Mania. If you're watching the... Anyway. I digress. Upper right hand corner, DeWalt starting as the blue Protoss. Bottom left hand corner, we have Bonnet starting as the red Protoss. Gateway opener, neither player going for the proxy. DeWalt I don't know if that was a clever shot previously or if that was just a bit of miss micro from Bonneth. I'm wondering if he was trying to drop the Reaver a half second after. Regardless, that Reaver got taken out immediately. Yeah, the fictitious graph, the Nexus was in position of the final match. That's a good way to, to look at it. So here, we'll pretend the gateway is the winner's bracket final. This is the, the simulators. The Now I'm just saying, and this, this is the, the, the final final as far as like actual objects and I don't know what the, the pylon is supposed to symbolize maybe the money or our willpower powering this entire tournament regardless anyway cybernetic square <laughs> being tucked in the corner back corner there cybernetic square to the south for Bonneth probes are going to come across to each other which reveals locations a little bit of a hit take that probe DeWalt scouting bottom right finding nothing just to make absolute sure and I think actually this time the scouts were sent up sent out uh, fairly rapidly both directions. What I will say is there is a bit of prophecy in the fact that in the, the we know for sure in the grand finals there will be a Protoss player at the very least. Thematically how that works in the overarching Brood War universe I am not sure. I'm sure I could make something up. Actually it would be kind of fun to make lore as far as what's going on with the Fighting Spirit Mania or whatnot. Anyway, Bonneth going to get a slight advantage because of Zealot blockading the ramp. However, Sneaky Probe going to steal minerals. It's, oh yeah, not going to get the scout. Well, at least I'm going to take some minerals away. The precious cargo returning home. Looks proud. It's kind of like the, the pirate victory. Dragoon. Second Dragoon being created after range. I don't know if Bonneth got good look at the dragoon, uh, the range. It looks like that probe going to be able to sneak out without too much trouble. Well, it's going to be spotted. For a second there, doing a little bit of attack. I was wondering if DeWalt was going to try to get a little bit of disruption. But here's the thing with probes, though, is as long as you have them clicked to a mineral field, they'll move through units. DeWalt's still chasing this down. He needs to be a little bit careful. That Dragoon might get a faster shot. Looks like range happening opposite side. Robotics facility immediately... For Bonneth, a robotics facility for DeWalt as well. However, knowing Bonneth, I would expect him to be the earlier aggressor. That does seem to be his preferred playstyle. Get in his opponent's face. Make it really, really challenging to survive in mid-game. Probe Scout still out on the field. And DeWalt... Pressing forward with his initial Dragoon actually might take some, and Bonneth might come across it and might even get some base damage out of it. Yeah, so small advantages early. Does get some base damage on this Dragoon. This Dragoon going to go ahead and retreat. Another Dragoon going ahead and checking out that 3 o'clock location. Needs to get back to home base. And actually, let's see. This could be some clever troop movement. So we got a Zealot, two Dragoons looking to re-engage. Bonneth going to go ahead and disengage. The probe was trying to sneak through to continue to get the scout, but gets denied by that zealot. So loses its life. No information to follow. Robotics and observatory as a result. Observatory 
and robotics as well. So mirrored builds. Actually, take it back. Two gate from Bonneth, one gate from DeWalt. DeWalt staging up already to go ahead and grab his natural expansion potentially. Did work out in game two. Let's see if it works out in game three. This time DeWalt is going to be a probe down though. Keep in mind that probe sacrificing its life just to try it. At the very least what it did do is it scouted the natural expansion to, to know that there wasn't like an immediate nexus grab as far as a follow-up. Shuttle first before observer. So Bonneth definitely thinking about a get, uh, getting aggressive here. Nexus now online. And the first Reaver in production, based on the timing of all this, that Reaver should be on the low ground before Bonneth is really... And this is the other thing, engaging in the aggression here. This is cross-map position, so it's going to take a while for troops to get in position just to be able to uh, levy some aggression. Six Dragoons, however, moving across the field. Observer initially making its way across the field. The Observer's going to need to be careful that it doesn't get wiped out or hunted down. Oof, just trailing the left-hand side out of range, it looks like. So saw the troops. Bonneth, upon not seeing Observer, actually making his way back. Interestingly enough. Huh. And he's going to go ahead and potentially set up a base for maybe he was thinking okay if this was i think he was maybe hoping to engage troops right there now gonna wander up see yeah confirms the nexus now he's moving out waiting maybe to just play protective with that shuttle the observer sees everything though sees the two gate so dewalt knows what he's up against the reaver orient position on the low ground second reaver being produced to go ahead and slow walk out to the natural but dewalt or has a pretty good pretty good positioning to fan out around this bridge you can see kind of the wall of dragoons Feels like a much better defensive slot initially, also dropping preventative pylon. So Bonneth is going to have his work cut out for him here. But if anyone can do it, it is Bonneth. This time we got the eight Dragoons going up against the seven. Taking some free shots against these pylons. Let's see if they force a cancellation on either side. Probe gets picked off. There's also a shield battery alongside. Looks like those pylons are going to in fact finish. One of them getting taken taken out. Bonneth slowly creeping forward. Giving the free damage. The Dragoons. One Dragoon taking a face plant. Shuttle just about wiped out. That does hit. Take out a Dragoon on the opposite side but honestly with such little health and also being down in the overall Reaver count. Never mind. DeWalt not even going to wait for it. Presses forward. Takes the Reaver out. And with the two Reavers behind this is going to continue to press forward. A Zealot managing to get on the Dragoon distracting a lot of their fire. So Bonneth completely being pressed back. And now DeWalt has that natural expansion up. Way ahead of Bonneth. Double worker count lead. The observer along the edge is at least going to see some information. Might be able to wander in. Second gateway now online for DeWalt. But things looking in DeWalt's favor. As far as the follow up, looks like, looks like that observer is going to get wiped out. But that observer was able to see that nexus timing. Shuttle speed being upgraded for Bonneth, so it wants to continue to try to play aggressively. Three Reavers on the front, no shuttle as of yet, and still no shuttle. Going to produce an additional Observer behind this. Looks like that Observer finally getting cleared out. I keep missing it on the... Uh, my, my camera work has not been the best today. Three o'clock location, third Nexus for DeWalt, feeling that comfortable. But with Bonneth's shuttle speed... Could be soft targets here, because this is a lot of territory to try to cover. DeWalt realizing this, actually pressing forward. This is going to be eight Dragoons versus six, some of them heavily damaged. Full health except for one on the opposite end. So they need to be careful they don't get caught in open hand fight. Also, keep in mind the second gas has not yet been grabbed by DeWalt, where that has been grabbed from Bonneth, which is going to allow a larger filtering in of those higher tech units, specifically Reavers. So once these two Reavers are scooped up, look for another assault chance for Bonneth. Three clock location. Honestly, if let's see if Bonneth is able to capitalize on it. Might be able to sweep towards that third. That Observer getting wiped out, which is going to be actually really significant. Because DeWalt needs to keep that troop count visible, as well as the positioning. Bonneth verifies the three o'clock. 
this is going to be four gateways behind this versus what was two gate but two additional gateways plopping on the observer once again getting picked off Bonneth being very diligent in that regard so now if Bonneth can find a window there are opportunities so there's an observer back here but this is a lot of territory to cover for DeWalt and he doesn't have a lot of observers and Bonneth's reavers are just deadly single probe out on the front so the reaver's going to try to slow walk get some pot shots getting really good group fire up on the high ground able to take out three dragoons and heavily damage the remainder one all three reavers making their way to this location as Bonnet sieging the low ground but with this what he can do is he can just scoop up with these three reavers out of position and potentially remove back towards that natural expansion he's got shuttle speed and there's not even a shuttle out for dewalt nexus under fire Dewalt still with the worker count lead. Bonneth going to try to catch up, grab that 9 o'clock location while he's engaging in this assault. A few zealots scooping up as well. The Dragoons. 8 count piling in. Looks like a ninth and a 10th joining. They want to go ahead and try to get that low ground fire. One Reaver exposed. Scoop back up in the Reaver. So two Dragoons lose their lives. The Observer going to get picked, taken out. On the opposite corner and that is going to send Bonneth home the reaver is heavily damaged but got a lot of dragoon kills actually he's taken the army count lead but still behind economically a flood of troops moving across the map it looks like they want to potentially re-engage at the natural expansion probe wiped out there so now you got troops pinned to three four reavers just slow moving between all of this to try to provide defensive scope and yeah there's that shuttle trying to sneak about back around the corner nice heads up play from DeWalt to anticipate that to get his Dragoons in location to go ahead and prevent potential catastrophe at that natural expansion so DeWalt three bases up Bonnet's space coming online he's going to go ahead and tack on a cannon and Bonnet's just going to go ahead and try to get that free damage in pylons along that corner DeWalt has surged ahead and is tacking on a lot of additional gateways however in the red right this second shuttle scooping forward four weavers still no shuttle protection on the opposite corner the observer again still getting pot shots off on these dragoons and doing all sorts of splash damage shield battery providing some relief from those troops right there so superior count Superior Reaver count on DeWalt's side. A shuttle has now joined the freight. Does not have speed, however. Forcing some shots off. Bonneth backing up a little bit. Nine o'clock base is sailing. No third gas as of yet. Third gas is online, but not yet mining there. For DeWalt. Bonneth pressing forward. Gets big shots. Able to take a Reaver out. Continuing to apply the pressure, but DeWalt is starting to peck forward and he's got enough gateways to produce enough troops where momentarily he might be able to overwhelm bonnet's for attack forces he's losing some troops here between sliver of an army count lead now for dewalt work account otherwise even but you'll notice as things have cleared out some reavers taking the field we got five gates of production additional gateways being tacked on side storm Plus one weapons being upgraded. Plus one weapons already finished for DeWalt. And DeWalt going for an end around, moving some troops out of position. Midfield, Bonneth going to go ahead and draw everything back. But DeWalt, having more gateways down earlier, is going to be behind in tech. He's not going to, he doesn't have that Templar Archives down yet. He does have plus one weapons, plus one armor before plus one weapons is even finished for Bonneth, so his troops just hit harder. He also has a supply count lead. But you have these Archons and Shuttle Speed behind this. And also, it looks like better positioning for Bonneth as he's able to walk up. Zelts can just walk straight through that pylon wall. The Reaver's also chucking through. So the third base breached of DeWalt. Probes fleeing. DeWalt looking for a counterattack. Just going to move all of his troops straight to the natural expansion. Two Reavers going to meet that there 
So sacking that base at 174 supply, just in case it's a base trade situation, Bonneth already has some troops set up in the upper left-hand corner. So those Reavers getting taken out. So now how well does DeWalt slow things down at his natural? A lot of troops grouping up to re-engage. This natural expansion looks like it's just going to be quickly wiped out. Reavers leading. Every scarab shot and the splash on it counts. Archon's absorbing a lot of damage here. So natural expansion is going to be gone pretty rapidly. 138 supply. Dark Templar getting wiped out. Almost immediately as they're spawned. Bonneth charging into the natural. He hasn't gotten the high ground yet. There is a Reaver building some scarab counts there. The gateways are silent. So it looks like it might be a pure exchange situation from here on out. And there's a this pylon sitting in that upper left-hand corner. Looks like DeWalt has managed to sneak out. However, these pylons are fairly close by. Bonus army what, might want to sneak to that bottom right-hand corner. Supply counts. So it looks like there is a sizable army advantage for DeWalt. If you do the math with the workers there. Chewing through everything here rapidly. High Templar online, but neither of them looks like they're going to morph to an Archon. That's probably not going to survive. This High Templar waiting in the corner maybe to get a juicy side storm off. So it's a base race situation now. Bunch of cannons being morphed in here as well. Did the pi Does the probe escape? Probe's going to hide underneath. Looks like there's another pylon to the six. So now DeWalt's going to have the trouble where he needs to hunt down everything from Bonnet. Avoid this, that army. Weaver, f is he going to find the last probe? Last probe's gone. So DeWalt cannot build anywhere else. And this cannon line, who's trying to build a nexus, can just go ahead and let that finish. Bonnet does have resources to rebuild. A lot of cannons here at the 9 o'clock location as well. Pure base race situation now. Who can get their troops out and find everything the faster? DeWalt at a sizable disadvantage because he's got, yeah, this here, but there's going to be Reavers to potentially engage that. It looks like he's momentarily drawn the Reavers back to try to defend this 9 o'clock. He's rebuilding tech now in the upper left-hand corner. DeWalt moving back out. Supply count lead for Bonneth, but keep in mind with that 16 probe difference, at least for the moment, he has a smaller raw troop count. Plus, level 1 armor is online for DeWalt. Ignoring the upper left-hand corner momentarily, Reaver's going to get some free shots on a group of Zelts right there. Actually doing a great job pot-shotting. Finding everything in the upper left. High Templar trying to sneak its way out. So that's going to get wiped out. In the meantime, however, Bonnet drawing up the troops. Two Reavers on defense for DeWalt with the cannon line. The pylons are exposed along that corner, though. DeWalt cycling a few troops up to defend. DeWalt able to wipe out everything here in the upper left. There's still this pylon here at the 6 o'clock location, as well as a whole bunch of cannons and probes still mining at the 9 o'clock. So DeWalt has the challenge where he needs to get the troops out, take out the 9, still have enough troops left to take out the 6, and defend the 12 o'clock location. Observer out, making sure there's not anything else out in the field. The Reaver is on the low ground, walking forward, able to get a cannon right there. Taking a big shot. The rest of the troops moving up. Actually, all they have to do is defend the 6 o'clock pylon. And keep building cannons and mining away happily. For the moment, DeWalt looks like he wants to try to find that army out in the field. Maybe engage it to wipe it out. Might find the 6 o'clock pylons on his way across. But right now, it looks like this is going to turn into a Bonneth victory. Still trying to chew away at this. One Reaver taken out. I missed that. 37 kills on that Reaver. Wow. So one Reaver remaining. Keep in mind, that's going to be critical to defend, to scooch back. Also, shuttle speed in Bonnet's favor as well. 
as far as reinforcement points. Dewalt, splitting his army, wants to attack from both angles. Needs to hurry because that robotics facility, yeah, so you got robotics facility here, ro Robo there. Now breaching the high ground, Reaver coming up from underneath, able to take out that Reaver there. Troops were on the opposite side of the map, now making their way across. Dewalt down to 38. If he can maybe get in and hold the high ground. Yeah, Dewalt going to call GG right there. Not enough. I think he realized his troop count was now half of Bonnet's. And Bonneth was going to be able to just do a cleanup operation as far as a follow-up with his attack troopings. And then after that, it was just basically having a reaver to go ahead and clean up the cans to the north. So base trade situation. Bonneth ends up the victor. That's game three. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.